Next question is from Steve Morrison 416. I'm coming into week four of Maps Anywhere and have been enjoying the change from performance. I'm now hearing that we may be having to social distance for another 12 weeks. Since Anywhere is four weeks, what would be the best way to progress? Should I run it another two times or extend the phases? Okay, great question. Yeah. So first off, Maps Anywhere is our, is our equipment-free workout program. All you need are bands and a broomstick. Um, and then you do the workouts. Uh, by the way, we've extended uh, the 50% off sale on it. Just use the code uh, white and then the number 50 without a space. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, Maps Anywhere comes with uh, the ability to scale and progress it over and over and over again. Uh, one of the ways to do this is through what are called the AMP sessions. Increase the amount of sets, reps, or pick more difficult movements within there. So the my recommendation, just like I would recommend with anybody else who followed any other program, once you've gone through it, look at the program, modify it, and run it again. Mm -hmm. And then go through the program and then modify it and run it again. If you do that, you're going to continue to progress each time. And this is true for any program. There's also another way that you can progress it that I've recommended to some people too, which is that there we've been talking a lot about on this show about the benefits of breaking up a workout you know, in 20 minute workouts throughout the day. Now the maps anywhere program is about a 40 minute workout. I'd say is what it takes to get through that. So I would actually do that twice in a day. So I would actually go twice in a day, or you could break it up three times and split the workout up. So you can increase volume by just doing that the second time around. Now I don't recommend that the first time. I think the first time like we do with most of all of our programs, we tell people to just as it's written. Yeah, follow the programming as it is because we always take into account the the idea that you may want to scale it up or that you have different levels of fitness that are entering this. So follow it the way it's programmed, and then one one option to scale up or increase intensity is what Sal is saying is choose exercises because we have exercises one, two, and three in levels. Like and level three is more difficult than level one, and we give you the flexibility to build your these amp sessions. By choosing those exercises, I recommend when you're first going through it, you're choosing most of your exercises from level one, you know, get and get good at them. And then when you go through a second time, pick more of them through level two. If you go through a third time, pick level three. That's what Sal's talking about with the amp sessions. You can also build more volume in uh, because they're body weight movements, because they're shorter workouts. You can do two 40 minute workouts in the day, or you could cut the workout in half and then do it three times in, throughout the day too. So there's a lot of different ways that you can scale the volume up after you've been through it one time and, and then come back and, the, around and this recommendation is true for again any pro I don't care if you follow our program or any other program if it's a good workout and you want to go through it again just look at it and okay this is what I did for the last six weeks uh, what are some new exercises I can add or this movement here kind of bothered me I'm going to add this or I'm going to add another set to every exercise to get me to do more volume. This is true uh, advice for any kind of workout that you follow. Maps Anywhere also include, we don't talk about it very often, but we included a uh, suspension trainer suspension mod. trainer mod inside it too. So that's another way that- So if you, you have can, a suspension trainer, you right, can follow that. Right, and yeah. you can find those relatively cheap. I mean, I know the name brand ones can are a bit expensive, but they have knockoff brands that- are, are relatively inexpensive, and I don't I don't think they're sold out like a lot of bands are. Yeah, and you could do a lot of cool stuff. I mean, there's a whole library of of movements that we created in that in that. Oh, there's mod. a ton. I mean, even like Olympic rings, those are another option with, for, that gives you the same exact kind of result. But the, like, you can really get uh, some intense exercises out of that. Even just doing dips on that is a whole another level of stability for the shoulders and strength uh, to perform. And so, I mean, there's there's ways to really like add intensity and like difficulty uh to what we already presented uh so and if you have any more like you need you're in need of some ideas make sure and dm us or like you know get on the forum and, and there's plenty of people that got some more like additions to that you can add